Welcome to my YouTube channel Knowledge Vista. Have you ever wondered about the miraculous journey that brings a new life into this world? It all starts with a fascinating process called conception. In the middle of a woman's menstrual cycle, typically around the 14th day, an egg is released from one of her ovaries, a process known as ovulation. This egg then travels down the fallopian tube where it may meet a sperm, leading to fertilization. The fertilized egg, now a single cell called a zygote, begins to rapidly divide as it continues its journey towards the uterus. Around the two-week mark, this tiny bundle of cells, smaller than the dot on a lowercase i, attaches itself to the uterus wall in a process called implantation. Remarkably, during these initial two weeks, most people are unaware they're even pregnant. It's a silent yet profoundly miraculous beginning to an incredible journey. And thus, the foundations of a new life are laid, even before one realizes they're pregnant. As weeks pass, the little embryo begins to take form. This is the magical journey of the first trimester, a period of rapid transformation and growth. During these early weeks, the embryo is a mere cluster of cells, but it's in these cells that the blueprint of a new life is encoded. The cells divide and differentiate, each finding their unique role in the grand symphony of creation. By the end of the third week, the heart begins to form. Yes, it's the heart, the very symbol of life and love, that's one of the first organs to develop. As the weeks progress, other vital organs and systems spring to life. The neural tube, which will eventually form the brain and spinal cord, begins to shape. The foundations for the digestive and respiratory systems are laid. By the eighth week, the embryo has tiny arms and legs, eyes and ears, and even a nose. It's a miniature human being, about the size of a raspberry. Meanwhile, the expectant mother experiences significant changes. Hormonal shifts trigger a variety of symptoms. Some may feel a heightened sense of smell, a strange aversion, or craving for certain foods, or fatigue. Morning sickness, a misnomer as it can strike at any time of day, is a common companion for many during these early weeks. These symptoms are the body's way of adjusting to the new life growing within. The uterus expands to accommodate the growing embryo, and the blood volume increases to supply oxygen and nutrients. It's a period of profound change, both physically and emotionally. Yet every discomfort brings with it the promise of the miracle unfolding inside. As the twelfth week approaches, the embryo is now a fetus. Its organs are formed and continue to mature. The tiny heart beats with a rhythm of its own. The baby can now move, though the mother might not feel these movements just yet. It's a journey of creation, of life taking form, of nature's most sophisticated symphony. By the end of the first trimester, the embryo has evolved into a fetus, with all major organs formed. The stage is set for the next phase of this incredible journey. The journey continues as the fetus grows and develops. The second trimester, often referred to as the golden period of pregnancy, sees the baby taking on a more defined form. Tiny fingers, toes, eyelashes, and even the unique swirls of fingerprints begin to appear. This is a time of remarkable transformation, as the fetus begins to resemble the little person it will soon become. From the fluttery sensation of the first movements, often likened to the gentle flapping of a butterfly, to the more distinct kicks and prods, the baby's activity becomes a daily reminder of the life blossoming within. Prenatal care remains paramount during this period. Regular checkups ensure that both mother and baby are progressing well, providing an opportunity to catch any potential issues early. Embracing a healthy lifestyle, balanced diet, and regular exercise can contribute positively to this journey. With each passing day, the little one inside prepares for its grand entrance. In the final stretch of this journey, everything gears up for the arrival of the new baby. As we move into the third trimester, the baby's development enters its final stages. This part of the journey is marked by significant weight gain, as the baby packs on pounds in preparation for life outside the womb. The baby's organs, which have been forming throughout the pregnancy, now reach their full maturity. The lungs in particular undergo significant development. They begin to produce surfactant, a substance that will help them expand and contract once they start breathing air. At the same time, the baby is also becoming more active. Those gentle flutters felt in the second trimester have evolved into full-fledged kicks and rolls. Even the baby's sleep patterns start to establish with periods of wakefulness and rest. Meanwhile, the expectant mother is also experiencing changes. Physically, the belly continues to grow, accommodating the growing baby. As a result, there may be increased backaches and tiredness. 
However, it's not just the physical changes. Emotionally, the anticipation of the baby's arrival might stir up a mix of feelings, from excitement and happiness to anxiety and fear. These are all normal reactions, a part of the beautiful complexity of becoming a parent. As the weeks roll by, the body starts preparing for the final act of this journey, childbirth. The mother may notice more contractions, also known as Braxton Hicks contractions, which are essentially rehearsals for the real deal, the body's way of saying, we're getting ready. And then, somewhere around week 37, the baby settles into a head down position, gearing up for the exit. This is known as lightening or dropping and is yet another sign that the baby is preparing to make their grand entrance. So, as we reach the end of the third trimester, the stage is set. The baby, now fully formed and ready for the outside world, and the mother, prepared both physically and emotionally. As the due date approaches, both mother and baby are ready for the next big step labor and delivery. The moment has finally arrived, the climax of this incredible journey childbirth. It's a process that's as old as humanity itself, yet every instance is a unique and awe-inspiring miracle. The labor process is typically divided into three main stages. The first stage, often the longest, is early labor. This is when the muscles of the uterus start to tighten or contract and then relax, causing the cervix to open or dilate. These contractions, initially mild and irregular, gradually become more intense and regular. As the cervix dilates, it also thins out or effaces to allow the baby to move into the birth canal. The second stage of labor is the active labor, which involves the pushing and birth of the baby. The contractions become stronger, longer and closer together. The mother's instinctive urge to push marks the transition to this stage. With each contraction, the baby moves further down the birth canal until finally, the baby is born. Childbirth can occur in different ways. While most deliveries are vaginal, sometimes due to complications, a surgical procedure known as a caesarean section, or C-section, may be performed. Regardless of the method, the goal is always the safe delivery of the baby and the health of the mother. The final stage of labor, also known as the afterbirth, involves the delivery of the placenta, the organ that nourished the baby in the womb. Once the baby is born, immediate care includes drying the baby to maintain body temperature and clearing the baby's airways. The baby is then usually placed skin to skin with the mother, promoting bonding and breastfeeding. Childbirth is a profound journey, filled with anticipation, exertion, and ultimately joy. It's a testament to the strength of the human body, the resilience of life, and the remarkable power of creation. And thus, after a miraculous journey of nine months, a new life greets the world.